Hello and welcome to Weld School. Today we're doing some uh, pretty basic billet welds on stainless steel. Uh, you can see uh, the little text that was up there. Uh, DC negative. It is, uh, I'm using a transformer rectifier machine here, I believe a Lincoln. And 100% argon using some 309L filler rod. I'm using 332 on basically all of these fillets. Some good clean sharp tungsten. I was using the uh, multi mix, I guess you could call it, the uh, lanthanum, yttrium, zirconium mix. It works pretty well. And just uh, running this just kind of like any other steel fillet weld. A lot of us get nervous about stainless steel. Uh, really, you got to just worry about heat. This uh, first example is pretty thick. I think this stuff's on quarter. And I don't really have to get too crazy about my, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about heat too much. Uh, it's not a, not thin enough to really uh, warp it too much or anything like that. I don't have to worry about um, chromium carbides or anything. Uh, just trying to move along. I got good shielding gas. I'm using a lens cup type torch or uh, cup, I should say. And uh, just dipping and moving. I would say when you're doing these though, uh, you just don't want your puddle to be sluggish. So that's the big issue with stainless steel is that we don't put enough heat input into the base metal. So you are going slow because you're waiting for the puddle to catch up, I guess, as you're moving along. And really all you're doing is putting more heat into the part. So you wanna have the right amount of heat, get a puddle, and if you can dip and move and dip and move with, uh, you know, no slowing down, that's probably where you want to be. Um, obviously, you could have the opposite effect. You're putting too much heat into it, and uh, you'll, you'll run into all kinds of problems. Um, with that first example, you could see a lot of different colors and uh, whatnot. You know, the darker they are, you get into the violets, uh, you're getting a little bit hotter. The lighter the color the less heat input so really the the best color is ultimately the color of the stainless steel rod which is silver um, you get into the straws kind of goldish that's great it's even less heat than your dark colors that come out so like right here there's a perfect example you know you got a lot of a gold i mean i wish it was all silver but i probably have to use a different cup and probably jack up my argon flow uh, so this second example right here is eighth inch, just a lap, lap weld all around. Uh, same thing, using a 332 to fill it. And here I'm really just trying to bring it up to that top edge without really destroying that edge. So as I'm moving along, I'm looking at the top of the puddle and I'm seeing it just kind of kisses that edge. And then I move forward, let that puddle reach the top and just continue to do that throughout. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, don't, don't ever get too stressed out about stainless steel. You know, if it's really thin stuff, hopefully you'll have some type of trailing shield or uh, some type of back purge possibly. Uh, you know, you'll have something clamping it down. You know, these are a little practice pieces, you know, that we use at school. Uh, you could be using something a lot longer where it's gonna really help dissipate that heat, so. And pretty much there is the uh, weld all around lap weld, eighth inch. I think the bottom piece is quarter. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead, I had another piece here. I'm gonna make a T out of this as well. You'll see. So T's and laps, pretty similar. I think the only big difference is when you do a lap, just make sure you bring it to that top edge if it's thin enough. That first example, I did not bring it to the top because it was quarter inch and uh, I was happy with that. Could I do a multi-pass? Sure, I could. Probably take my time in between and uh, watch, watch my heat. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button.